Sir, answer has been laid on the uh, has been laid on the table of the house, sir. Supplementary one, Sri P. Wilson. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Sir, building up of uh, modern infrastructure of agro processing clusters close to production areas and food processing units will achieve the object of from farm gate to the consumer and will create backward and forward linkages by linking group of farmers or producers to the markets through well-equipped supply chain. Sir, my question is, what is a plan in place to deal with the major problems of establishing agro-processing clusters and formalization of micro-food processing enterprises on the lack of access to modern technology, equipment, training, access to institutional credit, lack of basic awareness on quality control of products, lack of branding, marketing, knowledge skills, environmental problems, lack of awareness of food safety standards, and water supply and electrical energy. Honorable Minister. So, the question asked by the Honorable Member of Parliament. Sir, APCs uh, is been constructed, sir, uh, with, a, with a hope that uh, everything comes under one cluster. Everything that's related to food processing should come under one cluster. Mega food parks were there before this. But in mega food parks, sir, there were many uh, issues, there were many concerns. The land requirement was huge. It was almost around 50 acres of land requirement uh, was needed in that. And that in CLUs also, sir, change in land uh, laws also, sir, there was a lot of concerns, a lot of uh, issues that used to come between the state and the center and stuff. So, sir, we came up with this APCs. Now, sir, again, uh, no, not major concerns are there, but then, yes, I mean, when land use laws are related, uh, issues comes when there are NOCs required by the state, issues uh, do come up, but then we are in regular touch with all the state governments wherever these APCUs are set up and uh, we are trying to resolve all the concerns. Nothing major as such uh, uh, is being come under our notice as of now. Second supplementary, Sri P. Wilson. And sir? Sir, as per the annexure you have given to my answer, 12 projects have been sanctioned under PMKSY scheme. As per the APC scheme guideline dated 8-6-2022, the timeline for completion and operationalization of APC projects is 24 months, two years, from the date of issue of the approval letter for the projects in general areas, and 30 months for the projects in difficult areas, scheduled cars, scheduled tribe, FPFO, SH areas. The tabular column shows the funds to 10 out of 12 projects in Tamil Nadu remain unreleased in full. Sir, the grant is 35% in general areas and 50% for difficult areas, subject to a maximum of 10 crores. Why in Tamil Nadu, even after 24 months, the entire grant in aid to the projects is not released? Is it like a budget? Do you discriminate Tamil Nadu from releasing even the Honorable grants Minister. also? And of course, no kind of discrimination. I mean, this is something which has been set up by the ministry uh, with the thought of empowering the, the, the farmers to uh, increase the revenue of the state and also to give employment to the youth of our country. So of course, no such kind of discrimination will ever take place. As I just mentioned in my previous answer, that most of the time in getting NU, uh, uh, NOCs, most of the time in getting clearances, most of the time in getting uh, clearances from the bank, that becomes one of the concerns, sir. Uh, land rules also, sir, become one of the challenges in this. So I think, uh, sir, that becomes one of the main reasons. And also, in particular, this case, sir, there was a pandemic for over two years, sir. So this also became one of the important reasons for the delay. But as of now, I assure you that we are in touch with the government and, uh, and we'll make sure that everything's uh, wind up on the time now. Thank Third you. supplementary, Sri Saket Gokhale. My, uh, thank you, sir. So my question here is, for question number 46, currently post-harvest harvest losses of food grains in India are estimated to be between 18% to 25%. And for fruits and vegetables, the post-harvest losses are even higher at about 45%. 
So through you, I would like to ask, and also the other thing is, sir, because of these post-harvest losses, food inflation has gone up drastically to about 9.4% in India, sir. So my question to the minister is, what steps are being taken by the ministry to bring down the amount of post-harvest losses of food grains and fruits and vegetables, sir? Thank you.